so this rom is definitely for that tech enthusiast who love customizations and cannot live without that like me so if you love customizations and you cannot compromise with that then this rom i think you should definitely try this this is really nice also one more pros is this this new ui style in the quick settings this looks really good let's talk about some of the unique features of this superior extended android 14 rom firstly in theme settings you get two unique options firstly volume panel style so you can change the volume panels Second thing is the switch style. This is really unique. So, like I have turned on Realme. So, if you will try iOS, so you can see the switch is like iOS. The next thing interesting here is this uh, UI style. So you can change the whole UI using this settings although it is in beta. You also get option for lock screen font styles. So you can change the lock screen fonts, whichever you like. Now let's talk about lock screen. So here you get these different clock styles which are not usual. You also get lock screen styles and you also get this option here where you can select custom styles. For example this IDE style you can choose over various options and you also get this screen of animation like CRT and scale all the other options are usual in notification settings you get island notification which most people like these days and also you can turn off NI notification so when the display is on the sound is not going to come whenever phone is ringing or some message has came and you also get deep level of customization about the edge lighting that you can get on Samsung phones two interesting things that I found in the gestures are these advanced extended gestures which you can get in this ROM and the second thing is this AOSP gestures where you get double tap to turn on the phone also here so you can double tap phone will be on and you can also control the brightness let's talk about miscellaneous settings here you get always on display customizations smart pixels application downgrade higher FPS spoof and photo spoof you can all you can also do storage encryption spoofing and you can choose the header style like just a second let me show you so you can change this header style You also get header style like slim, random, etc. This one here. Also, there is no issue with the fingerprint. So, when the screen is off, then also the fingerprint works alright. Like it does not work on Matrix OS and some of the operating system, but in this operating system, it works just fine. You get this uh, window secure flag. 
where you can take screenshots even when the applications do not allow these are the unique things in this rom last but not the least is it worth installing so i would like to show you some bugs firstly the home screen rotation with five applications in the dock does not work properly like alignment is not good first problem is this one secondly when i first installed the rom there was too much of battery drain but after a restart it was fixed another issue that was there is the bluetooth icon was not coming even though i was connected with the device then also the bluetooth icon was not showing here and that was also fixed after the restart there is a little bit of heating issues that you get when you charge your device and use it while charging and also there is no kernel su support let me show you kernel su is not supported that is it for the video i'll see you in the next and let me tell you this is actually a good rom it is going to be my daily driver